All right, folks, here we go. Well, welcome to the channel. Van Camp and Woody here with my little buddy Nebo. We're westbound, uh, heading towards New Mexico. I've got all my things taken care of, a little town of Dumas, Texas. And uh, I've never actually done any camping over in New Mexico. And I got an area picked out that I'm going to go check out and see what it's like. So, so bear with me and we'll catch you on the other side. Oh, got me. <laughs> I got rid of the beard uh, Saturday. It is in the 80s, so I want to figure, well, it's going to be hot and warm. Little did I know the next day it started cooling off. That snow flurry's there. But uh, I enjoyed my time at Lake Meredith uh, National Recreation Area. I will be returning because there are 15 designated areas down there to have for uh, camping, first come, first serve. So uh, that's why the beer's gone. Hopefully it's going to warm up again. Um, I am, like I said, heading over here in New Mexico. I'll probably get there uh, tomorrow. I'm, I'm not really in no hurry. Some things over here I want to look at that I haven't got a chance to see before. So, uh, y'all enjoy the photos and the uh, road trip, and uh, we're on our way. Uh, heading forward. Okay, here at the village of Kaplan, New Mexico, uh, it's well marked out here to take the turn. I go out through here, pass some cattle, headed out to the volcano. Uh, we'll see y'all out there at the turn. Okay, my first time here. We're gonna try going up as far as we can. Getting close to closing time, so we'll see. That's a volcano. I'll tell y'all more about it here as I find out more. 
New Mexico, northeast uh, side. See how far I can drive up here. Visitor center is closed. Coming back down here a little bit. Oh, looks like it's closed up, up going up. Oh dog on it. Of course I'm going the wrong way. No one more overnight camping, no our sky viewing. Here, let's get a picture of it. Okay, that's it. Um, no, I guess I'm winning the video here at the uh, volcano I always wanted to go in there and see it I couldn't take a big truck down in there um, I'll give some information in the description and more about the uh, volcano uh, Kaplan Volcano National Monument uh, uh, I guess it was registered in 1916 uh, you read the information on the description like I said below I um, Enjoyed my five days over at Lake Meredith. Yes, the uh, normal camping areas were blocked off, but down by the lake where I was at, where people was bringing their boats in and where they was fishing, had no problem staying down there. You know, uh, during this uh, quarantine, but um, I did notice over on the west side of the lake where the ATVs are at, uh, they was out there camping, out there partying and whatnot. So I, I don't like none of that. But anyways, um, I've come on over here to New Mexico. As I said before, I've never camped over here. And I wanted to try it out. I, um, I'm having problems with my phone. And so I had to revert back to my old one. And um, you know, I'm working with the videos again on it. So, But i'm gonna go on, drive on over to ranton new mexico is where i'm gonna spend the night at there's a truck stop there uh, i used to frequent all the time while i was on the road and i'll probably stay there and then uh, we'll see if i can't find some camping free camping over here in new mexico uh one other thing about the uh, dealing with the coronavirus crossing state lines all the signs are out stay at home self-quarantine you know, um, really haven't had any uh, uh, police officers, official police officers, bother me. Uh, I've gone through uh, each state now from North Carolina all the way uh, into uh, uh, Kentucky and Missouri. And the only one I was worried about that uh, was told about was in um, Illinois. They was giving tickets, uh, issuing tickets out to those who weren't not in residence and out traveling if you wasn't working or whatnot and I don't want to deal with that but uh, I, I really haven't been having that much issues with anybody now um, I am like I said going through New Mexico now I'm staying away from all the main populated areas I'm traveling the back roads that's what how I did when I was on the road uh, as a truck driver uh, we was paid the most direct route so it wasn't always interstate driving. And there's a lot more things to see on the back roads. And you take your time. So today's trip probably going to be about 150, maybe 160 miles. And then I'm on, uh, tomorrow I'll go over and find my camp that I'm going to set up. And hopefully it won't be too cold. It's in the 60s. I was getting down in the 40s at night. But the higher elevations is getting down colder than that. So 
but I do believe I'm going to head up uh, other areas that I've never gone before. So I may get into the snow line again, back into the freezing line, but the temperature's fluctuating back and forth between 80 and 60, you know. So um, I can handle that. But um, really, at the uh, if here I go stuttering. Honest, I ain't been drinking. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyways, here we go. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button over there and let uh, they'll let you know when I upload a new video. I'll try to be a little bit more informative. Hey, I appreciate each and every one of y'all who have all my heart have subscribed already. Welcome aboard to the new ones uh, here in New Mexico. Van Cap and Woody will forge it on.